Twinjal Morning, good to have you on the show. Wanted to understand about this big shift, shift in trends that one is seeing as far as cycling is now concerned. Um, do you think cycling is back in vogue uh, past the pandemic and ensuring that it's going to be a trend which is here to stay? So, uh, in the lockdown, you know, we locked up, we got, we all got locked up at home. But the human spirit, you can't lock. So, you know, people wanted to go out. Now, we never had the roads. Now, in the lockdown, the roads were empty. It was safe to ride. Gyms were closed. We have seen this cycling market surge. It's a natural instinct of a of a person to walk and cycle. So people on like now across all, all ages, children, adult, elders, people uh, going to school, people going to work, every segment has gone, uh, got into cycling. I'm in, I'm in London over here and I was in, uh, in the park, you know, going for my job. And you see people wearing fitted clothes uh, to uh, take the sweat, everything. So when they go to uh, when they go to work, they are out there and they've changed and then they're ready for the work. So you have saved time, and cycling is a natural instinct of a uh, of a human being. We just need safe road. We just needed safe roads. Right, Mr. Munjal, what according to you is the key reason for this uh, you know reemergence of cycling cycling as a fitness activity, if I can call it that. And what would you say is uh, driving the demand for cycles besides what you just highlighted? It's a combination of all. People want physical fitness. You don't need to go to the gym. You can't even go to the gym nowadays. You don't need to go to the gym and lose time. You cycle to work. Urban congestion is a big story. Cycling will reduce urban congestion. Air pollution, urban pollution is a big uh, pain we all face socially and uh, that's being you know addressed with this health so the four fundamental social issues are all being addressed it's a natural instinct and if it's a social problem being solved it's got to be you know big there's a three that's weeks waiting list for firefox there's a three weeks waiting list for electro so we the production can't uh, keep up the three months waiting list for UK and Germany of our own plants over here, which are just ramping up. So Hero is building up a valley, a cycle valley, uh, e-cycle e valley, in fact, and we will have not 10% of the world capacity. So, Mr. Manjal, that certainly does come as good news. What about the segments within cycles that are flying off the shelf? If you can tell us which are the types of cycles that are seeing, uh, you know, a higher offtake. Is it the basic models? Is it the high-end models? What is flying off the shelf, what is in demand, is the recreation bike. The Firefox cycle ranges from 10,000 to 30,000. Electro goes from 20,000 to 1.4 lakhs. So people who are spending this kind of money, they like fitness. That's their life. That's the way they live. So they are, they've got the blood back on the mouth. Now they can't leave it. So we see it in a sustainable way. We see it in a growing manner. Once the smart cities come up and the safe roads come up, then Bharat and India will see a change. Then we don't need to worry if you think of Delhi five years from now, where cars are parked bumper to bumper, how's it going to work? There's a there's a gridlock. The length of the cars parked will be longer than the roads. Has anybody done this calculation and seen five years from now what will happen? We can't. It's scary, but it's but it's real. So cycling is uh, to some extent proved to be a solution in Europe. We can see it here happening. These cities are big. London is uh, not 27 million people here. There's no congestion or very little congestion here. You see cycling all across. So uh, this is the way. So the premium bikes are going. The kids cycle. When the father goes, the mother goes, the children also want to. So the children's cycle also flying off the shelf. 
and uh, cycling to school people rather than getting into you know those two three wheelers and big buses uh, cycling you have a natural safe safe distancing also with this so cycling to school is also picked up and hero electro the e bike this is going forward very well people across from merchant bankers to investors to entrepreneurs i mean that profile which would have never cycled in my wildest dreams i would have never thought of these people cycling and for them they are on to it and you go on twitter you see they are all posting pictures see how fit i become how much time i've saved i've cancelled my gym membership and i'm this is my ongoing membership so they're so proud of this decision and they're very happy and we understand that currently the demand trends in this space are actually outpacing the supply capacity so what are the plans in place in order to cope with this increased demand see the in business an entrepreneur puts up a business and expands the top line you need to grow you have to be ambitious to grow unfortunately here we have the demand and we can't fulfill this is the biggest fallacy i could be going through so we are the weakest link is the supply chain as i told you so people are scared like you know they've gone back to the villages after the lockdown when they were stranded on the roads they could not go home they could not go to the city they were like you know trapped they are scared to come back so we're doing our best to get them back we're sending people there are whatsapp groups that have been made which goes to the houses deep into bihar jharkhand how to send a bus how to send a taxi to his village and get him back so individually we are focusing like that individually with each person and trying so our tier 1 tier 2 suppliers they are having more constraints and uh, that's what we are addressing it has to be done or come what may it has to be done on the export front uh, mr manjal do you now see a skew in the import export ratio when it comes to cycles you know this is the sad part of the story and this is why i put up the valley it's a 55 billion dollar market 3 and a half lakh crore market worldwide growing in there in double digits by e bike it's like lifestyle it's like fashion it's like trend and fitness that we talk to you about is growing at a very big rate india is 1% of this so when we have a 12% market there by number when we have one seventh of the world population it was quite a let down heads you know down that why are we lagging behind so no we are not there in the world market we are not leaders in the world market as of now so what hero did was we bought a factory in sri lanka which has 0% duty into eu we bought a company in manchester we bought a company in, there in berlin we are buying something in amsterdam now in the epicenter the center of gravity of these heroes there with a local brand local distribution local 50 50 people working in each company so we are local here we are not exporting we are like uh, insync hnf these are the brands that are people are buying so this is the strategy this is what has paid off now and by virtue of this half a million bikes will be exported this year we'll make them in india and in a plant in sri lanka and export them to these places us is our next uh, destination walmart would be a big partner so we are planning uh, one foothold in the us once all of this is in, uh, is in place then hero will be 10% of the world market but, uh, by 2023 march is the goal